it's got to have tough legislation to curb emissions and to proceed in ways that really will help to slow down climate change before it's too late. There isn't a big window of time and if we don't act now, it's going to be too late. Copenhagen's got to be the moment when we take the practical solutions and make the deal. And that's a deal that's got to have America and China, Europe and India on the same page. China needs to figure out how to dramatically and faster, quickly reduce uh, the, the greenhouse gas emissions. As a business student, it seems to me like it's not even an issue of keeping the environment safe or environmental issues. It's, it's like efficient resource management. I think with the technology that we have today, it should not be uh, really complicated uh, to make a change. Clean energy technology, something I call ET, energy technology, which is going to be the new IT. I think every country in the world should want to own ET um, the way countries in the world want to own IT. And so, uh, to me, that's the, the strongest motivation. Uh, this is going to be the next great global industry. It simply has to be in a world getting hot, flat, and crowded. In Ohio, we, we're called the Rust Belt. And the Rust Belt is the Rust Belt because we have so many abandoned factories and a lot of workers who are out of work who have hard work and they want to do something. They want to contribute. But there's not a whole lot going right now. And so one of the things about this project and what's so great about it is we're, we're trying to do that.